Hi there, this is uh, Eugene Blanchard and uh, we're going to talk about how you can run a, a Genie camera, it's a network surveillance camera, on your PC. Normally it runs by hooking up with your cell phone. Uh, in my case, um, my cell phone is a cheap Chinese one, a Sky phone, it, it doesn't work, it locks up all the time. So this is how to uh, use it on a PC. There's no PC app to run a Genie on a PC, right? So what you have to do is you have to use a, a simulator that simulates a cell phone, in my case it's Android, on uh, the PC. So what I use is uh, something called the Knox Player. Right? Knox Player is free to download, so you just go to uh, www.bignox.com, B-I-G-N-O-X.com. I'll put a link in the description. Uh, you download it and then you install it. It's pretty straightforward. I didn't have to do any special at all. When you install it, it's going to bring a Knox Player icon on your desktop. Uh, let's see if I can bring that up here. I'll just close these down. So down here, this is the Knox Player icon. Uh, when you click on it, it opens up like this. It takes a little while to open up. So you'll have this. You can see I've already installed Genie here. But what we'll do is we'll uh, uh, take a look and how do you install Genie on here? Well, you go to the App Center. Uh, go to the App Center. And this is very similar to installing an app on any cell phone. This this simulates a uh, a cell phone. So then you do a search for Genie. Genie spelled G E E N I. And it does a Google search. And then you see down here it says, uh, let's see, download free Genie app, install free Genie app, and you install it just like you would install an app on a cell phone, right? So you you click on it and it says install someplace down here. Once it's installed, then you can run it. Uh, now, with the Knox Player, instead of swiping, you have a, a little button. It's just outside of the... Uh, you see where my cursor is here? There's a little return arrow. This is the, the swiping key. So I'm just hitting it a couple times, and it's the same as if you swiped to go back on a cell phone. So I've got my Genie app installed. right? So here it is here. So I'll click on it, and it turns it into a cell phone. And this is the standard menu that you see. Now I'm going to just move it up a bit here. Let's see if I can move it without Windows screwing up. There we go. Made it a little bit smaller so you can see the full Genie app. This is the, the opening screen. Now what you'll have is your porch cam. This is called My Home. You can have multiple cams and you can have them all listed in name. So I have mine on the porch. It's shooting through the front window. Works quite well. Uh, then you have your notification center down here. And that, so we'll just go open up the porch cam, and it's connecting by Wi-Fi. This is what the normal image looks like, because uh, I resized it to fit in my screen capture window here. You have a choice of high definition or standard definition. You can't see. I can make it full screen here, uh, and now we have this, and right. So you can see this is what's happening in real life. There's a, a little speaker button, and what happens is there's a microphone on the uh, the camera. It picks up really good, but since it's inside, it's only picking up what's in the living room right now. So I have it turned off. I don't really care about that. And that uh, the camera angle is a little bit crooked. I guess the only beef I have with this camera is the mounting. You sort of bend it, kind of moves away at an angle here. So I just gave up, but it, it gets to see my whole front yard here. I'll just go back to, here's the porch cam. Down here is the notification center. So if I click on the notification center, it'll say motion detection on the porch cam. So I have it recording any motion. And it'll take a snapshot. So every time a vehicle goes by, here's a vehicle that takes a snapshot. Uh, there's three settings. There's, uh, I have it on medium sensitivity. And medium will go all the way out to the street on that. And there's another car passed by. Here's me coming home, right? So at 10.44 this morning, I came home and it caught me. 10.44 today, so what I'll do is I'll go back to uh, my home down here. And now I can go to the porch cam. Now in the porch cam, what happens is up here is where you do your settings, the three dots. And you can have your device info, the porch cam. You can go through all this basic uh, feature settings. Now one of the things is that since I have it running through the... Uh, the window, I had to turn the infrared night vision off because it was reflecting on the glass. I also had to turn off the indicator light on the front because it was reflecting off the glass. Um, I don't need either of them. I have a street light in front of my house. You'll see some of the night shots are just amazing. And that, uh, So a car went by. I just saw it out the window. I'm looking and the porch cam detected it. You can have motion detection settings. So I have the motion detection is on. I have the alarm sensitivity 
level is medium. Uh, I've sound detection off, and you can actually schedule it too, but there's no need to. Then uh, you have, uh, I have an SD card setting in here. I only have an 8 gig SD card, and it's been running for, oh, over a week after the SD card is full, it'll start writing over itself. So I've got uh, seven, uh, well, it's an 8 gig card, so about, it says 7.39 gig and then uh, I've used 6 gig and I still have 1.34 so it's been going over a week on just an 8 gig card it'll take up to a 32 gig uh, my, uh, I've switched recording to the SD card because you can actually upload it into the cloud if you want to pay um, recording mode is motion recording and there's a recording schedule if you want you can format the SD card and that. it's uh, pretty straightforward and that's about it for uh, um, this you can give the, the uh, camera names. You can have multiple cameras, and, and uh, if I wanted to uh, play back, here's playback button down here, and this is the this took a little bit to figure out. So here's a good example of a, a night shot. It's actually playing back uh, a night. Um, so this is it looks like it's one o'clock in the morning, right? So you can see how how good the, the picture is at one o'clock. So I was looking at. Uh, uh, motion detection here. Um, I came back home around 1044 and what it does is it and there you can see me coming right so basically it'll take a snapshot of when I came up the stairs but it records everything before and after right now to move this you don't move the cursor you move the time right so I can uh, move it back here and now it's going to play and it sees me leaving right so it detected motion it catches me leaving and we can put this on full screen uh, some of the peculiarities if you want to record this to your computer what you have to do is you have to start this playing then hit record and now it's recording Right, so it says it's recording. So this thing has to be playing first before you record. And then the video will be saved on your computer. You can also check a date here. So I can say what happened on uh, December 7th. And then I can take a look at the motion. I think my daughter came home somewhere around uh, here. Uh, maybe it was yeah. yeah you saw them briefly come uh, briefly come out of the corner here and that so you can check back and you can see the quality of the video it's, it's actually quite amazing and that to get out of this here's the little uh, swipe key uh, you can see it now uh, previously it was out of the thing it's the back or right click it a couple times tap once more to exit now we're back here and for some reason it's gotten smaller um, we have a file manager in the file manager um, I, I actually made a link so that we could see this and, and in uh, Knox player there is a, an option for you just to click and drag this onto your your PC I've got the uh, Knox Player file manager open. Where you find the screen captures or the files for uh, Genie, what you do is you go up to this folder here, you click it open, and then you'll see there's a folder called Camera. And under Camera, it's under Thumbnails. So it's kind of strange there. This will show all the files that you've recorded or put in here. It's kind of strange. It's in Thumbnails. I, I thought it would have been in uh, Cover. And what I did is I just made a shortcut on my images. So when I go to File Manager, right, so that way I can just see it here, my camera. And that's about all I want to say is how, how to, uh, to play Genie on your PC. And it all connects through Wi-Fi. Thank you.